Hi, Stephen here, Not Just Cables. Um, this is just a, another video regarding FreeNAS. I've been wanting to do these videos for quite a while. Um, FreeNAS is just an open source file storage solution that's based on FreeBSD. It um, has a lot of good features, um, and for a lot of cases it's probably a bit too much for home users and so on in some regards. Um, if you're into setting up your own hardware, mucking around with software and, and so on, then FreeNAS is probably your um, your way to go. But uh, if you're not really into all that, if you just want something straightforward, simple to um, to set up and operate, uh, maybe just an off-the-shelf type uh, NAS solution, maybe um, QNAP, HP, Synology, um, to name a few. Um, they they've all got different features, so just do a bit of research before looking at uh, actually getting one. Um, there's a lot of advantages with something like FreeNAS, as in uh, there's a lot more functionality with some features uh, or some parts of it. Um, you can you can actually do quite a bit with it uh, with a off, you know just standard on the shelf type solution, um, hardware type solution. Sometimes you're a little bit limited on what you can actually do. So you might actually buy a NAS solution and then later on down the track want to do something with that and you you can't set it up or you can't do what you want. Um, the reason I like it is because I use media and so on around the house and I've got um, my media senders actually boot directly off my NAS solution. Um, I've got DHCP, um, a virtual machine running DHCP in the background which I think that pretty much all that's covered in one of my earlier tutorials that I did on FreeNAS. Um, yeah, so the the changes between the original version and this version, the, one of the later versions or the latest uh, release version is 9.3. So in the earlier versions they used to have a thing called jails where you could actually run um, sort of virtual machines or, or with inside um, FreeNAS. Um, so that's how I set, I set up uh, my DHCP server and so on on the last videos. Um, now there's also plugins which are slowly getting a lot more uh, plugins within FreeNAS. Um, there's all kinds of things that people have, have set up. And plugins are just um, pre-designed jails essentially or operating systems to run within FreeNAS. But the latest version in 9.3, it goes a little step further, which is what I wanted to cover off in these videos, which is something I quite like. Um, whereas when you go into jails, you can actually set up um, from the templates a thing called VirtualBox. So what VirtualBox is, is a, um, it's pretty much a jail operating system, which is running, it's, uh, I suppose you could compare it to VMware or um, so it's basically a virtual jailed machine that runs um, other operating systems so it's a virtual machines within a virtual machine essentially um, yeah so it's it's quite good so in that regard you've got a more, lot more flexibility so um, you can actually run say Windows Windows 7 um, server operating systems pretty much whatever you like um, within reason. I, I wouldn't say that any operating system would work in it, but I'd be fairly certain that a, a good uh, uh, sorry, a good percentage would. Um, I've actually run server within it. I've run um, uh, various versions of Linux. Um, yes, it's, so it's pretty pretty good. Um, I've used VMware, um, uh, the desktop version of VirtualBox, um, various other virtual machine softwares. So the yeah I'm fairly familiar with uh, setting up operating systems and VMware and, and so on. Um, so for this video, I'll just go through all the steps of actually downloading, setting it up, um, installing. Some of the videos might be a little bit uh, long-winded. Um, you should be able to skip through some bits. I'll try and edit them as best I can for um, the purposes of not being too boring. But um, okay, so basically. If, you, if you're watching these videos, you're probably familiar with FreeNAS already, or you've looked into it, or you're interested in um, installing it and want to know a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I mean, if you want to try it, I'd recommend just getting yourself a, a PC that's, that's actually going to manage to run it. Um, you could just use your standard desktop PC, but make sure you disconnect the, 
the hard drive and, and so on. Um, the installation process can be done off, uh, you can burn the ISO image to a CD or um, put it on another flash drive, you can put it on a hard drive, it doesn't really matter. Um, but ideally they recommend running it from another USB stick, so you actually run FreeNAS from a, a USB flash drive um, uh, of sort of 4 gig, 8 gig kind of scenarios. I think it's 8 gig is what they recommend from memory. Um, so anyway, freenas.org is, um, is the website. So to get started you just go into the download section, um, click on the little link at the bottom or you can subscribe to the newsletters and, and so on if you want to at the top there. So just click on the link, download it. Um, I've already downloaded it so um, I've pretty much got it ready to go. As far as uh, writing it to a, a flash drive, um, if you want the instructions on all the setup and everything, basically just go to get help at the top of the page again, documentation, um, and then you've got your current release which is 9.3, or it's 9.31 if you want to be exact. Um, installation and upgrading, it goes through, uh, if you've got a previous version of FreeNAS you can do an upgrade on it from an earlier version. Um, I'm not sure if you can just jump from say version 8 to 9.3, I think there might be some steps in between, I can't quite remember. Um, but I did actually start with quite an early version of FreeNAS and I have upgraded it and I'm right to sort of version 9.3 now. Um, that's for my main um, server. So basically in here you can scroll down, find your operating system that you're currently running from. In my, in my case it's um, Windows, it tells you to download uh, for Windows uh, Win32 disk imager to actually write the disk's uh, image to the flash drive. So the download is just sitting in here, uh, just move that over. Um, so it's FreeNAS 9.3, um, make sure you get the stable release, if you're using that download link then you will get the stable one. There is a current version of FreeNAS uh, which is in beta stages or alpha stages which is uh, version 10 which uh, they'll be moving to at some point. Um, so basically once you're at that stage just run uh, Win32 Disk Imager. Um, select your memory stick, which in this case uh, mine is not playing the game. I'll just um, put in a different memory stick. So there you go. Uh, this one's one that's previously had that on, so it's saying it needs formatting, which um, isn't the case for this, but it's fine. Um, right, so basically I just need to go to that directory. Um, at the moment you can see it's not showing, so you just need to go down the bottom, um, select the double thing there to show all files, um, click on it, or double click, doesn't really matter. Um, so basically that that's it. Um, you've got the ISO to drive, it should only detect the USB sticks, as far as this one goes, so it's quite good. There are some uh, imaging solutions or um, ISO writing softwares and things that will let you put it on pretty much any drive, so be a little bit wary of that. Make sure you've got the right uh, drive, make sure it's a USB stick. Uh, a lot of them that allow multiple drives will actually show you the, the USB stick size and so on. So once you get to that stage, it's just simply hit right. It takes a little while. Um, it'll get to the end, it'll say that it's complete. Um, yeah, so, and then the next step is basically putting the two memory sticks, your blank memory stick that you use for the install, and this one into a PC, uh, making sure it can boot. Now I will say that um, I have actually done this step uh, before making this video, so it did run into a few problems. Uh, I'm not sure if hardware related or or maybe flash drive related, it can be a little bit finicky with the flash drives that it uses. Um, likewise the hardware on the PC, make sure you check your specs. Um, yeah, the, if, you, if you're making your production system, definitely check the specs on the PC. Um, 
I don't know, uh, things like video cards, probably beast to be an onboard type video card. Uh, you not really, it's not graphics intensive or anything. All it's doing is um, displaying a, a terminal window essentially, as far as um, FreeNAS goes. So you don't need any high end video or anything like that. Just concentrate on a on a motherboard that's got uh, enough SATA ports for the amount of hard drives. For example, if you want um, RAID, then you need double hard drives. So obviously, uh, depending on what RAID version you want to use. So for my case, I'm just using three terabyte drives on my main FreeNAS server. So I've got um, two you know two sets of three terabyte drives. Um, so that requires four SATA ports, obviously. So um, if you want more drives than that, if you want six drives, obviously you need six SATA and um, mirror the drives and so on, make them a bit more um, redundant capabilities on them. Um, yeah, and so on. If you want, there are motherboards out there that go up to about 12 SATA ports. Um, not cheap, but they're, they're designed for these sort of situations. Um, and of course the PC case, make sure you've got a, a good sized case uh, capable of housing all the drives so they're not going to get too hot uh, uh, maybe some uh, extra fans or something in the case just various things, hard drives these days don't really get as hot as what they used to so as far as that goes it's it's not probably quite as bad um, but in the early days hard drives actually used to put out quite a lot of heat so um, heat was a big, big factor um, especially with the faster drives um, yeah, so I, I suppose that's about it for now. I don't want to get too boring on this video, so um, I'll move into the next step, which will be off my normal camera, and then I'll just go through to um, pretty much the whole install process. There might be a few things missed out of the videos, but um, you can ask questions or check the documentation on the FreeNAS site for any more info. Um, it's pretty well covered, but yeah, okay, I'll um, see you in the next video. Cheers.